There are fierce supporters on both sides of this acrimonious battle. Thank you so much. Amber Heard says she's traumatised by domestic abuse at the hands of her ex-husband. Johnny Depp claims those lies have damaged his reputation. Now it's up to the jury to decide who's telling the truth. What is at stake at this trial is a man's life. Today, the closing arguments in a six-week trial that's been followed by millions around the world. First up, Johnny Depp's lawyer. We ask you to give Mr. Depp his life back by telling the world that Mr. Depp is not the abuser Ms. Heard said he is and hold Ms. Heard accountable for her lies. It's six years to the day that Amber Heard obtained a restraining order accusing Johnny Depp of domestic violence. His defence say that was false and a later newspaper article she wrote defamed him. There is a victim of domestic abuse in this courtroom, but it is not Ms. Heard. The jury were replayed audio recordings in which Amber Heard appears to admit hitting Johnny Depp. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. Oh, you're crazy. Oh, you're crazy. Yeah, have you drunk this whole thing this morning? But Amber Heard's defence reminded the jury of this video, showing they say the rage-filled monster he could become. Imagine watching your husband, the person you love, behaving violently that way like a wild animal. That is abuse. That's abuse. It is time to tell Mr. Depp that this was his last chance. Tell him to move on with his life. Tell him to let Amber move on with hers. Stand up for the freedom of speech. The trials laid bare a toxic, dysfunctional marriage. Whatever the result, there are surely no winners here. Rebecca Barry, ITV News.